I recently released my video review of the Pico Grill 398. And in that video, I had said that it was close, but a little different than the Pico Grill 498. Well, I've had a few questions about the differences. So what I thought I would do today is very quickly show you the two stoves side by side and talk about the differences. So just before I take you down to the tabletop where I have the two stoves sitting side by side, I thought I'd give you a quick update from Bruno, the um, owner of the company. So Bruno let me know that I'm not the only one that still has an interest in the smaller Pico Grill 398. And for that reason, he's going to continue to produce it and sell it as long as there is interest in it. So that's part of the reason why I wanted to do this video is to give you a close enough look at the two stoves to help you decide if you want to buy or which one you want to buy. So here are the two stoves sitting side by side. This is the Pico Grill 398 and this is the Pico Grill 498. You can see that they are quite similar in size, but there are some differences between the two stoves. And I have said in the past that this, the 398, is a simpler, smaller stove, whereas the 498, not only slightly bigger, but a little bit more versatile. So what are the differences between the two? So in terms of size, it there's not a whole lot. Now, even as I look at them, I to me, it seems like a big difference, but in terms of measurements, it's really not. The 398, and I'll give you all the measurements in the video description below, is uh, 15 inches from edge to edge and 9.84 inches this way. The 498 on this side is only an inch wider, or an inch longer and an inch wider, but you can see it does sit a little lower. Now, one of the differences I had drawn attention to in the video review of the 398 was the fact that the fire bowl was deeper. The pit itself was deeper into the center and not only in this direction but in this direction as well. So it just seems in my opinion to concentrate a lot of the heat a lot more towards the center and the coals will fall towards the center with gravity as the fire progresses. Whereas with the 498 it's wider and more open. You can see it's less deep, it's shallower, I guess is the best way to say it. So those are the basic differences. So why don't I just give you a few views of these things. Just kind of see what they look like from different angles. And then we can uh, talk about the way they are used and what's different and what's the same. Okay, bringing the two of them in. Oh, I thought this was kind of interesting. Let's see how this works out to show you. You can actually see uh, the difference a little better when I set the 398 inside of the 498. So why 398, 498? Well, those are the numbers based on the metric weight in grams. Uh, 398 grams for the small ones. It's not actually not quite 498 grams for the large one, at least for just the setup now. Now, if you add things to them, like the grills I'm about to show you, then of course that's gonna bring the weight up. So let's take a look at the 398. There is the grill that comes with it, and you do receive two of the skewers, which can also act as pot stands. I'll just lay that on top. Now, with the three or 498, you actually get two of the grates, and there's room to put both of the grates on at the same time. And you also get two of the skewers as well. Now, the thing about the 498 is that you have two levels that you can work with, and you can not only work with them at uh, the two levels, you can do use different levels at the same time. So right now I have the grill sitting on the upper level, but I can take them and bring them down to the lower level. If I wanna get closer to the heat down here, I can bring them both down to this lower level or have one up high. So that's the versatility that the 498 has that the 398 doesn't. So it adds a little bit to the size, a little bit to the weight, and a little bit to the cost, of course. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to have that. But again, my personal preference, at least at this point, has been for the 398. And again, the only reason for that is because of the smaller size, and the deeper fire bowl. So it's, I guess it's a little bit about which do you foresee wanting or needing more? The larger, more versatile fire pit or room for more wood or the smaller, lighter size. Now light, 100 grams is not a lot of weight in the difference until you start adding the other components as I mentioned a minute ago. All right, those are the basic differences and similarities between the two stoves. Uh, I think that's enough for this video. Let's wrap it up.
All right, once again, all I was looking to do with this video is to show you the two stoves side by side. In the event that you were thinking about purchasing one of these and you just needed a little bit more information about which one it would be. All right, as I mentioned before, I do have one more stove from Preco Grill that I wanna share with you. It's the Model 760. It is a big stove, but I'll bring that to you as soon as I can. And until then, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.